Bennett drawing it across over the kick. The layback of the ball by the Lions really is superb here. Fed back once again to Tony Neary. McGeechan, Squire, this is Andy Irvin. Irvin going to run inside JPR. This could be a tremendous try. And yet Davis came across. Irvin feeding out to Fenwick. What a score. McGeechan fed it out, and Squires knew that Irvin was on the overlap. Now look at the change of pace here, the change of direction twice, and then when he felt the tackle coming, here it is, Gerald Davis, Irvin realising that Fenwick was free. What a pass, and Fenwick needing no second in. A day like this, he could get the distance. It's long, and it's high, and it's there. to Reeve from Edwards, it, now to Bastia, Bastia to Reeve, it comes Frenchman, Reeve over halfway, in comes Gerald Davis, Gerald Davis has Strella on his left, Davis caught there by Bennett. Nicely back from Wilkinson, Edwards to Richards, this is Gravel, Gravel to JPR Williams, a great try. And by Reeve, it's Fenwick now, Fenwick over the 22, the kick, they're meant for Gareth Evans, this could be a try, and it is! From this loose situation, Fenwick's lovely little dummy, and then of course he felt himself in space. And then, the real bit of intuitive play, I'm sure he knew that Evans had a good chance, and he placed the kick absolutely on a sixpence. Ian McGeechan, so much room and time. Gerald Davis couldn't hold it, McGeechan gives it out to Fenwick. Fenwick! Again over the 22 and again kicking for Gareth Evans and back goes Charles Kent and it's Kent who manages to get the touchdown. Gerald Davis making a scissors. Richards gets his kick in. Edwards. Richards again finding a little bit of space. Back goes Willie Duggan. Kicked on by Strella. Strella. Oh, and Ray Gravel was in a marvellous position there with Reeve alongside him. McGeechan. McGeek and the dummy and the great acceleration. No support on the inside, but Neary is up now over the 22, gives it to Fenwick. Fenwick to Wheeler. There's a, an overlap here to Evans, closing rapidly, but Wheeler taking them on. Oh, the flick up from Duggan, out to Bennett. McGeechan. McGeechan was going to miss out Squires and give it to Irvin. Now, now Squires goes in. They're only five metres short of the line, and it's Andy Irvin who's driven over. McGeechan, Bennett now in the centre position. Here's Bennett, that electrifying sidestep. Tackled by Jean-Pierre Reeve. Edwards, Richards. Richards inside Bennett. Gives it there to Nil. Nil the prop. Out to Kent, over the 22. JPR Williams, out to Dave Mackay. Mackay, knocked into touch by Elgin Reese. Wilkinson again. Edwards, great pass to Richards, the dummy runs by Gravel, JPR Williams in the line. Well tackled there by Andy Irvin, that was Reeve, Reeve to Gravel, Gravel out to Gerald Davis, Gerald Davis to Gravel, has he the strength to get there? Yes, he has! There on the Barbarians 22, and they're attacking out from Strella along the line to Kent. Kent over halfway, being chased by Elgin Reese. he gives it to Dave Mackay, he's being chased by Bennett, can Mackay make the line? He hit the touch and goal flag. Gerald Davis stepping inside Neary, looking for support. Dave Richards with him. That was a thumping tackle by Frank Cotton. Reeve to Nelms, Nelms, can he get it out to Mackay? Gets it to Reeve, Reeve going for the line, and it's a try for Mackay. Davis, the captain, showing the way with this mesmeric little run of his. He, he went down to a thumping tackle by Fran Cotton, but Reeve, the French flanker, was in it. Nelms was there. Look at Nelms with the little dummy. How was that for a prop? Reeve once again, and then this acceleration, and Dave Mackay putting the finishing touch. Edwards, Gerald Davis, outside Gareth Evans. Gerald Davis with a sidestep again. Gives it to Madsen. Out to Reeve. Reeve over halfway. Nelms once more. This is marvellous rugby. Out now along the line to Kent from Richards. Kent going from the corner.
The big man tackled by Elgin Reese again, only two meters short. And Phil Bennett, who uh, realizes that his team needed just something to settle them, but they don't need any now because the referee's whistle has gone for the end of the match, in which the Lions have beaten the Barbarians by 23 points to 14.